Hey everybody, I'm here with Keith Ramsey from Garden Supply, and as you can as you can see us, well, you can't really, might, maybe you can. We're behind some shade-loving screening plants. Keith's going to give us a little update on some, some good shade screening options. Yeah, so shade's a little bit tougher. There's a few things that aren't here. Um, Lugustrum does really well in shade. Um, curly leaf Lugustrum is what we usually recommend. Um, and then uh, this is a uh, this is a Ligustrum coriaceum, um, kind of a structural plant. You can use it in a pot, or you can use it for a for a small screen plant in a thin space. Um, nothing affects the Ligustrum. No no insect, no disease problems. Um, this is an interesting plant here. It's a low quad. Um, it's it's been considered half hardy or tropical for years. Um, I've had some in for about 15 years now. Super hardy. Um, and every once in a while you'll get a tropical fruit off, out, out of the plant. It just all depends on the season. Um, but but a, really, a really sweet tropical fruit that's about the size of a, a nickel. Um, that, this is a large shrub or small tree. Um, if you wanted it as a screen plant, you would kind of have to top it and keep maintaining it. Uh, but but does a great job. Um, this is, uh, I'm at a loss, um, Podocarpus. Um, one of my favorite, actually, uh, screen plants. Um, I always say it's kind of soft as cashmere. I mean, when you run your hands across the, this foliage, I mean, it's just, it's, it's lush, it's soft. Um, this plant gets about 10 or 12 feet tall, and four feet wide, something like that. Um, the Ligustrum blooms, this, the uh, Loquat blooms, all, all of these plants bloom. This is more of a pollen producing plant. Um, this has a has almost like a vanilla like flavor, so it's I mean uh, scent to it, um, which is amazing. Um, Ligustrum, I'm not crazy about the scent of the flower, but it's a but it's a white flower. It's, pre it's a pretty thing to look at. And then um, old standby camellias are amazing in the shade. Um, they they bloom for almost two to three months, um, from white to pink to red. Uh, just a great great plant. Um, and you know when you look at when you look at putting something together, um, if you're doing it yourself, I always recommend, you know, taking some cuttings from it, figuring out what you're going to do to mix, mix big bold um, foliage, and um, and then more of a ferny texture um, when you're planting something. Unless you're doing just a mass of one thing, um, a lot of times I would recommend doing maybe three of the of the low quads and then three of these or three low quads and one of these. Um, depending on the space, but uh, I think it's really key in your landscape and especially um, backyards um, that you create some privacy and you've got a space to kind of retreat to. Um, you should have to call your neighbor up and invite them over. They shouldn't be looking over the I'm fence when you, you. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've had, I've, I've almost always had really, really great neighbors, but. I don't want to have to speak to somebody when I go to my backyard. You know, I want to be able to walk into my little paradise, my little private space, um, be able to, you know, have quiet time and relax. Um, and then when I want to have people over, phone them up, send them an invite, and uh, have them come out. Yeah, awesome. Great information. Some shade loving uh, evergreen plants. Come by Garden Supply Company or call Leapfrog and um, get some stuff installed.